we are studying about solar thermal collectors last video we have studied about flat plate collectors today we are going to study about evacuated tube collector so this is the video of the uh, the picture of the the evacuated uh, tube collectors if you look at here we have number of tubes it's exposed to sunlight or solar radiation so this is the picture let's look at the insides of this so the evacuated tube collector uses a series of evacuated tubes we call these evacuated tubes to heat the water so this is a essentially the solar thermal collectors are heating the water i mean getting the heated water is a major task of this so here in this setup we have a inner metal tubes which act as an absorber plate. Earlier in last video, we studied about the importance of having the absorber plate. So that absorber plate will absorb most of the solar radiation and uh, getting uh, transfer the heat from the absorber plate to the water in these um, uh, flat plate collectors. Now we are studying about the evacuated tube collectors. So here absorber plate is the tube itself. The inner, inner tube is the absorber plate. So then uh, in the next uh, slides, we can see how it's connected. So here, if you look at this is very nicely, we can understand what is going on. We have a tube. Tube has a liquid. And this tubes is connected with the, the manifold. So the, here is we are sending the cold water. And we, here we are getting the hot water. So this is the input and this is the output. This is the input and this is the output. And what is the setup here? We have the tubes. Each tubes are inserted into this setup. So what is happening? I mean, this liquid here, tube has a special liquid. This liquid is getting heated and the hot. Because of this liquid getting heated, the heat is transferred to the water the heat is transferred to the water then the water will get heated so this is absorber plates so inside of this there's a tube is there this is called the absorber here in this setup the absorber is this one okay we'll move on to the next uh, um, slides to understand more so if you look at here you can see that in in the glass there is a black color the absorber this is the inner tube we can say inner tube the inner tube acting as absorber we in last video we explained why we have a black color surface uh, as an absorber because it absorbs more heat from the sunlight or solar radiation so here we have the inner tube that is a black color that absorb the uh, heat so we have a outer tube that is a uh, glass material glass color that is having so each tubes if we count one two three four five six seven eight nine tubes we have a nine tubes in this picture is the individual tubes we have so how this connected so each tubes there's a the top part it's connected here it's come inside this manifold okay so this is hot the hot liquid is coming here okay hot very hot liquid is come here then the water is passing from here to here let's say cold water is coming here and passing through this hot area then it's a water will get heated so this is a different setup than the previous one last week we have we have studied about sending the water through the uh, flat plate collectors and getting out here we are sending the water only through this ma manifold not through the the tubes we are not sending the water through the tubes tubes having a special liquid okay so if you look at next uh, slide you get more ideas okay so this heat pipe is essentially a pipe where the fluid this is a special fluid contained under a pressure at this pressure a hot end of the pipe has boiling liquid 
in it while the cold end has a condensing vapor so hot end where is a hot end hot end is the one we are talking about it's connected to the manifold the hot end where the water flowing okay where the hot end connected to the the pipe where the water is flowing okay the all the hot end because we are sending the water hot water here the cold water and we are getting the hot water as an output how because we have a setup where the boiled liquid boiled liquid that's because uh, it's is shown in red color boiled liquid is come here okay boiled liquid the condensed vapor is here when it's get the solar radiation and it get heated and it goes to the top of this place okay so we have a hot liquid here so water is passing so this area is entire area become hot so water is passes through this area so the water become hot so heat transfer is happening so very important thing is what is the different mean we are not sending the water through the pipe that's a that's a major we are not sending the water through these tubes we are sending the water only through the manifold in the in the case of last video we are sending the water through the 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 flat plate collectors okay so the the fluid fluid we are using it okay we are using a special fluid that can uh, easily absorb the heat and transfer to this area okay like a top okay Okay, this is a difference between the evacuated tube collector in the picture like when you buy from the shop you can see what is the difference this is a flat plate collector we have the flat surface you can see that's a flat surface here this is a evacuated tube collector. we have the individual tubes here is we have individual tubes okay this is a major difference okay in appearance wise okay when you um, uh, compare this appearance wise this is a difference Okay, so what is the ad advantage of going for the evacuated tube collector over the flat plate collector? Okay, first one is uh, having a higher efficiency. So we say ETC in short, ETC. It is can achieve high efficiency, especially in colder climate because they are better insulation. We have a better insulations due to vacuum between glass tubes. Okay, between the glass tubes, we said like there's a glass and inside there's an absorber glass. So there's a two glass. In one tube, there's a two glass setup. So between these two glasses, we have a better insulation. The vacuum is a insulation, better insulation here. Vacuum playing as insulation. So uh, it reduces the heat loss. Okay. So that is one of the advantages. The better, the second one is better performance in cold and cloudy conditions. So ETC minimizes the heat loss through the convection and conduction, enabling them to perform well in low sunlight or colder condition. In cold, even the colder sun condition, we have the solar radiation, so the 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 uh, solar collectors will work. But the climate is cold, but solar collector will work because of the solar radiation. It absorbs the radiation. Uh, get the uh, fluid heated and it will work so uh, it is not possible in in uh, flat plate collectors so there's a better performance cold and cloudy conditions third one is a higher temperature output so it will give uh, about up to 150 degrees celsius okay so this is suitable for many applications where we need a high uh, heat maybe maybe processing some industrial process we may need high temperatures. Uh, meanwhile, the flat plate collectors, what we were studying last week, it we can uh, heat it, uh, heat the water up to only 80 degrees Celsius. So there's a major difference between uh, flat plate and the uh, ETC, evacuated tube collector. And heat loss, lower heat loss, we already said lower heat loss. Um, 
that is a uh, compared to etc ftc the fpc the flat plate collectors have uh, more heat losses because uh, the exposed to the environment so more heat can uh, exposed to environment so we are coming to end of this video so what is the uh, the take home message is that um, uh, the evacuated tube collector is more uh, advantage when you need more heat like 150 degrees celsius mostly for some industries when you want to heat uh, the water to that level of more heat you want to produce then it is uh, uh, better and also if you are living in the colder countries then uh, the uh, evacuated tube collectors will perform better uh, in cold countries in compared to flat plate collectors Thank you very much. That's all for today. Uh, please subscribe this channel. Uh, we continue with the next video.